restrictions could soon see picket lines at Sharp hospitals. Nurses are set to strike on Monday, but some of them are divided. Ann State is in the newsroom with a new twist to this developing story. Ann. I, Tika, an email came into our newsroom from a nurse, and she basically said that the nurses you have been seeing on TV tell only one side of the story. There's a secret side you haven't heard. Thank you for allowing us. These three nurses asked Ted News to tell their story. We love Sharp, everything about Sharp. Amanda, Michael, and Sarah. The media has portrayed Sharp nurses as a whole, and there are, we do have another side. These women, who did not give their last names on camera, say they are some of the non union nurses at Sharp Healthcare. I think a strike would be horrible for our patients and horrible for the nurses that want to stay there. Union nurses voted to go on strike, rejecting Sharp's last offer, which the hospital says included minimum 16% raises spread out over three years. Personally, I feel like the offer is beyond generous. And as nurses, we didn't get into nursing for the money. We got into nursing because we love nursing. <laughs> Union nurses, seen here celebrating after their strike vote, have complained that their pay is lower than nurses at other local hospitals. Sharp says the average nurse makes $100,000 a year if you include overtime. Sarah, Michael, and Amanda believe this fight is about more than money. They want all nurses to be in the union. Sharp says both sides will come back to the bargaining table on Friday in the hopes of avoiding a strike. The Sharp experience is a real thing. We are a family, we are a tight-knit group, and we love where we work. Now, I reached out to the union several hours ago to comment on some of the points in this story, and they emailed me back very lengthy email, which I'm just now seeing because it came in when I was on the set at four o'clock, but basically, they do contest a number of things. They said they feel that the uh, nurses earn more like $85,000 a year for regular shifts, and they say the fact that they're working so much overtime again, just summarizing their email, points to the fact that there's so much nursing turnover and that, they say, is part of the equation as well. They also, though, say they are willing to talk this weekend to avert a strike. So we will see what happens in the newsroom and state 10 news.